Hello, welcome back to my channel. I just had to look in the mirror to make sure I was in the frame. I'm doing a little bit of a different video today and I do apologise for the echo in the bathroom. Uh, I am going to show you what's in my bathroom and what I'm using at the moment in terms of Lush products um, and yeah, things I'm enjoying, all of that sort of stuff. So let's get into it. So this is my boyfriend's side. I'm just going to switch you around of the uh, bathroom area, I guess, the sink area. Uh, but I've also got cleaning products and stuff here. So as you can see, we love dental flosses. They are our favorite. The Coles brand are great. Um, obviously some general tools for grooming, all of that in there. Um, the tweezer man tweezers are great. I use a lot of white vinegar in my cleaning. I love the Coles brand Windex as well. So these are Australian. This is great if you're in Australia as well. The Oz Clean Shower Power bathroom cleaner, non-toxic, fine for animals. Coconut spray uh, for sunscreen's really good. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, two Lush products that my hubby loves is the Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. We go through that pretty quickly, as you can see. And the Tea for Toes foot powder as well. Loves to use those out of the shower. I do occasionally as well, but I don't do it all the time. Here's my side of the woods. Here's my little pump thing. Sorry about this being all gross. It got stained in the wash. Um, it's currently got the honey, uh, fairly traded honey shampoo from Lush in here because it's super concentrated. You only need a tiny pump. That's the deodorant I use, the Mitchum Shower Fresh. I don't mind the Powder Fresh one either or the Unscented, whatever's on special. Tan Dickinson's Witch Hazel, which I use with the cotton balls. I use that as a toner once I get out of the shower. Um, I've got some little lush sample pots here. I've got two of the R&B hair moisturizer. I don't know how I ended up with that. Um, I've got the Handy Goo Guru and the Helping Hands hand creams. And I have the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter and the Sympathy for the Skin Body Lotion, but I use that as a face cream. In the corner, I have the Charity Pot Hand and Body Lotion and the Sleepy Body Lotion, two of my all-time faves. There we go. There's a very old hairbrush from Avon that they don't even make anymore. It was my nan's and I got it when she passed away. Ah, it's almost, it's been almost nine years quite a long time I use the high fluoride toothpaste that you can only get in the pharmacy that one there because I've got a lot of cavities these fresh burst pocket packs are fantastic if you've got bad breath on the go and you don't want to chew a mint you just want to put a film it's like a little film thing that just dissolves in your mouth it's great an electric toothbrush, uh, definitely much better than cleaning the teeth than um, a regular toothbrush. So I come over to the shower area now. This is going to be sort of a uh, lush collection video as well. So you can see I've got two funds up the top, Monsters and Aliens and Rainbow. And the, the four tubs below that are actually my own mix of hair mask. Um, I mix together a lot of moisturizing products from Lush that I didn't like. Um, and some soap products as well and things like that and it's a really nice rich hair mask now I don't have a recipe or anything because it was just random bits and pieces that I was trying to use up um, that I wasn't getting through there were, I had a lot of lush products I wasn't getting through and things that weren't exactly my favorite so yeah that's that there so let me just step into my bath this is weird with socks on there we go, down there I have my four Lush Labs conditioners. I have the Hair Necessities, Candy Rain is in that corner, that white one, Valkyrie and Jay's Mum's Okra. I have reviews of all of these up on my channel. I'll link it down below. In that corner, um, we have the I Love Juicy Shampoo, which is my hubby's favorite shampoo, Sleepy Shower Gel, and at the back is the Plum Rain Shower Gel. And then up on this little caddy, we've got the Rose Argan Body Conditioner in the large size. I also have small tubs of the 
Aquamarina and the OT Creamy Dreamy up there. You can tell that they've seen better days. American Cream Conditioner, American Pie Body Conditioner, a brand new Sleepy Soap at the back, and then up the top, we have the American Cream Press Conditioner, which I will probably use tonight or tomorrow and get my review out for that one. Then I've got my razor, obviously my Chic Hydro razor with the trimmer. Amazing razor. Never bought another one since. It's been a few years. Some soaps here. We've got the Movis uh, soap, which now looks like a ball because it got so soft that we rounded it up into a ball. We've got the coal face as well. And then at the back, if you can see that little one there, is the Honey I Wash the Kids soap, which I got as a sample in an online order a little while ago. And then I've got some more soaps down here. We have the Sleepy Soap, which is the Lush Labs one. Please watch my review on that. Um, I don't recommend it. And the Rockstar Soap next to it and the Sultana of Soap next to it. And then I've got super cool loofers, which I love. I love the long ones. I hate the ones that are in a ball because they always unravel. If you get one on a stick, they don't unravel. So that's that one there. I'm going to turn you back around as I hop out. I looked in the mirror. I don't know why I looked in the mirror while I hopped out. So that's sort of what's in my bathroom um, and what I'm using at the moment for Lush. Sorry about the creaky door. Um, I did get this idea for the video of showing what's in my shower, things like that from when in real life i'll link her channel down below because i think she's the one who thought of this video idea so i'll link her down below so this is my cupboard in my bedroom and i keep my spare lush products um backup products all of that sort of stuff in here so we're going to go through this now um and also i'll just actually i'll just show you really quickly um, I've got these as well, my little perfume collection here. It, I've already featured it in my perfumes video, so I won't show it too much, but you can just see it visually. Um, and I've also got the perfume oil, the American cream one, if it's going to let me pop it out. No, I can't do it one-handed because all those perfumes are going to go. And then I've got the fun here, the speedboat one. Well, it's got speedboat and mermaid in there. Um, and... That's something I like to use in my laundry, so I always keep it there so I remember to take it out when I do go um, and do my laundry. So there you go. So here we go. I'm going down below. You saw a few of my childhood toys there. <laughs> I'm just sitting down. Okay, so this is my little stash. As you can see, it's pretty extensive. Um, on the right-hand side, I've got five American cream conditioners, so I have a lot of backups for that. I have two of the American Cream shower gels there, which are limited edition, so I thought I'd stock up. Rose Jam in the front. Rehab shampoo there. The Daddy-O shampoo. And another Plum Rain shower gel at the back. I don't know why I bought another Plum Rain shower gel. I like it, but I don't like it that much. I have six of the American Pie Body Conditioners. I know it's excessive, but I absolutely am in love with this product. And because it's limited edition, I am scared it's never going to come back. And I've got some cleansers here, which is probably not wise to stockpile cleansers, but here I am. Uh, the Dark Angels, The Herbalism, Let the Good Times Roll, Aqua Marina. Um, and I've got a R&B hair moisturizer down there. I've got to get through my samples first. I'm not too worried about the R&B one. Um, I've ordered them in terms of when they expire. Um, they only last about four or five months, so... Um, I'm probably not going to get through them, but usually if you keep them in a cool, dark place, it does extend their life quite a fair bit. So that's what I'm hoping to do. And then at the back, I've got the ones that I bought in the recent haul. The Oti Creamy Dreamy, the Cup of Coffee and the Mask of Magnum Inti. But I want to try and use up the Aqu Aquamarina I've got in the shower at the moment. I want to try and use up the Cold Face Soap and I also want to try and use up uh, the Odie Creamy Dreamy that I've already got in there before I go on to using these as well. So there we go. That's it. 
I did a bit of an old school video, didn't I? And just showed you around with my phone. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was interesting. I do have reviews for all of these products up except the press conditioner. Um, like I said, I will use that either tonight or tomorrow and give you my honest review on that. It's maybe up already by the time I post this video, but we'll see how we go. I'll link all the playlists and stuff down below um, so you can check it out. And I'll link Gwen in real life down below as well. And some other Lush uh, people that I like to watch. Some Lushies that really know their stuff and they're honest. And yeah, that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all on the next one. Bye for now.